こんにちは。英語のシャドーイング練習教室へようこそ。司会のシャドウです。ここでは役立つ英会話を練習してネイティブ英語を身につけよう。日常生活で使える英語フレーズを10個、10回ずつ読み上げるから、その後に声に出して10回練習しよう。それじゃあ、始めるよう。Hey Jordan, I've been trying to improve my English, but progress seems slow. I've been told increasing my contact time with the language is key. Can you explain what that means? Hey Jordan, I've been trying to improve my English, but progress seems slow. I've been told increasing my contact time with the language is key. Can you explain what that means? Hey Jordan, I've been trying to improve my English, but progress seems slow. I've been told increasing my contact time with the language is key. Can you explain what that means? Hey Jordan, I've been trying to improve my English, but progress seems slow. I've been told increasing my contact time with the language is key. Can you explain what that means? Hey Jordan, I've been trying to improve my English, but progress seems slow. I've been told increasing my contact time with the language is key. Can you explain what that means? Hey Jordan, I've been trying to improve my English, but progress seems slow. I've been told increasing my contact time with the language is key. Can you explain what that means? Hey Jordan, I've been trying to improve my English, but progress seems slow. I've been told increasing my contact time with the language is key. Can you explain what that means? Hey Jordan, I've been trying to improve my English, but progress seems slow. I've been told increasing my contact time with the language is key. Can you explain what that means? Hey Jordan, I've been trying to improve my English, but progress seems slow. I've been told increasing my contact time with the language is key. Can you explain what that means? Hey Jordan, I've been trying to improve my English, but progress seems slow. I've been told increasing my contact time with the language is key. Can you explain what that means? Absolutely, Alex. Contact time refers to the amount of time you spend actively engaged with the language. This could be through speaking, listening, reading, or writing in English. The more you immerse yourself in the language, the more natural it becomes for you. Absolutely, Alex. Contact time refers to the amount of time you spend actively engaged with the language. This could be through speaking, listening, reading, or writing in English. The more you immerse yourself in the language, the more natural it becomes for you.
Absolutely, Alex. Contact time refers to the amount of time you spend actively engaged with the language. This could be through speaking, listening, reading, or writing in English. The more you immerse yourself in the language, the more natural it becomes for you. Absolutely, Alex. Contact time refers to the amount of time you spend actively engaged with the language. This could be through speaking, listening, reading, or writing in English. The more you immerse yourself in the language, the more natural it becomes for you. Absolutely, Alex. Contact time refers to the amount of time you spend actively engaged with the language. This could be through speaking, listening, reading, or writing in English. The more you immerse yourself in the language, the more natural it becomes for you. Absolutely, Alex. Contact time refers to the amount of time you spend actively engaged with the language. This could be through speaking, listening, reading, or writing in English. The more you immerse yourself in the language, the more natural it becomes for you. Absolutely, Alex. Contact time refers to the amount of time you spend actively engaged with the language. This could be through speaking, listening, reading, or writing in English. The more you immerse yourself in the language, the more natural it becomes for you. Absolutely, Alex. Contact time refers to the amount of time you spend actively engaged with the language. This could be through speaking, listening, reading, or writing in English. The more you immerse yourself in the language, the more natural it becomes for you. Absolutely, Alex. Contact time refers to the amount of time you spend actively engaged with the language. This could be through speaking, listening, reading, or writing in English. The more you immerse yourself in the language, the more natural it becomes for you. Absolutely, Alex. Contact time refers to the amount of time you spend actively engaged with the language. This could be through speaking, listening, reading, or writing in English. The more you immerse yourself in the language, the more natural it becomes for you. So, it's like learning to play an instrument, the more you practice, the better you get. Exactly. Think of your brain as a muscle that needs regular exercise. So, it's like learning to play an instrument, the more you practice, the better you get. Exactly. Think of your brain as a muscle that needs regular exercise.
So, it's like learning to play an instrument. The more you practice, the better you get. Exactly. Think of your brain as a muscle that needs regular exercise. So, it's like learning to play an instrument. The more you practice, the better you get. Exactly. Think of your brain as a muscle that needs regular exercise. So, it's like learning to play an instrument. The more you practice, the better you get. Exactly. Think of your brain as a muscle that needs regular exercise. So, it's like learning to play an instrument. The more you practice, the better you get. Exactly. Think of your brain as a muscle that needs regular exercise. So, it's like learning to play an instrument. The more you practice, the better you get. Exactly. Think of your brain as a muscle that needs regular exercise. So, it's like learning to play an instrument. The more you practice, the better you get. Exactly. Think of your brain as a muscle that needs regular exercise. So, it's like learning to play an instrument. The more you practice, the better you get. Exactly. Think of your brain as a muscle that needs regular exercise. So, it's like learning to play an instrument. The more you practice, the better you get. Exactly. Think of your brain as a muscle that needs regular exercise. The more you use it to process and produce English, the stronger your language skills become. It's not just about the quantity of the time, but the quality of that time too. Makes sense. But how can I increase my contact time effectively? I have a pretty busy schedule. The more you use it to process and produce English, the stronger your language skills become. It's not just about the quantity of the time, but the quality of that time too. Makes sense. But how can I increase my contact time effectively? I have a pretty busy schedule. The more you use it to process and produce English, the stronger your language skills become. It's not just about the quantity of the time, but the quality of that time too. Makes sense. But how can I increase my contact time effectively? I have a pretty busy schedule. The more you use it to process and produce English, the stronger your language skills become. It's not just about the quantity of the time, but the quality of that time too. Makes sense. But how can I increase my contact time effectively? I have a pretty busy schedule.
The more you use it to process and produce English, the stronger your language skills become. It's not just about the quantity of the time, but the quality of that time too. Makes sense. But how can I increase my contact time effectively? I have a pretty busy schedule. The more you use it to process and produce English, the stronger your language skills become. It's not just about the quantity of the time, but the quality of that time too. Makes sense. But how can I increase my contact time effectively? I have a pretty busy schedule. The more you use it to process and produce English, the stronger your language skills become. It's not just about the quantity of the time, but the quality of that time too. Makes sense. But how can I increase my contact time effectively? I have a pretty busy schedule. The more you use it to process and produce English, the stronger your language skills become. It's not just about the quantity of the time, but the quality of that time too. Makes sense. But how can I increase my contact time effectively? I have a pretty busy schedule. The more you use it to process and produce English, the stronger your language skills become. It's not just about the quantity of the time, but the quality of that time too. Makes sense. But how can I increase my contact time effectively? I have a pretty busy schedule. The more you use it to process and produce English, the stronger your language skills become. It's not just about the quantity of the time, but the quality of that time too. Makes sense. But how can I increase my contact time effectively? I have a pretty busy schedule. Well, you can integrate English into your daily routine. Listen to English music or podcasts while commuting. Watch English TV shows or movies without subtitles during your downtime. Even changing your phone's language to English can help. Well, you can integrate English into your daily routine. Listen to English music or podcasts while commuting. Watch English TV shows or movies without subtitles during your downtime. Even changing your phone's language to English can help. Well, you can integrate English into your daily routine. Listen to English music or podcasts while commuting. Watch English TV shows or movies without subtitles during your downtime. Even changing your phone's language to English can help. Well, you can integrate English into your daily routine. Listen to English music or podcasts while commuting. Watch English TV shows or movies without subtitles during your downtime. Even changing your phone's language to English can help.
Well, you can integrate English into your daily routine. Listen to English music or podcasts while commuting. Watch English TV shows or movies without subtitles during your downtime. Even changing your phone's language to English can help. Well, you can integrate English into your daily routine. Listen to English music or podcasts while commuting. Watch English TV shows or movies without subtitles during your downtime. Even changing your phone's language to English can help. Well, you can integrate English into your daily routine. Listen to English music or podcasts while commuting. Watch English TV shows or movies without subtitles during your downtime. Even changing your phone's language to English can help. Well, you can integrate English into your daily routine. Listen to English music or podcasts while commuting. Watch English TV shows or movies without subtitles during your downtime. Even changing your phone's language to English can help. Well, you can integrate English into your daily routine. Listen to English music or podcasts while commuting. Watch English TV shows or movies without subtitles during your downtime. Even changing your phone's language to English can help. Well, you can integrate English into your daily routine. Listen to English music or podcasts while commuting. Watch English TV shows or movies without subtitles during your downtime. Even changing your phone's language to English can help. Those are good ideas. I already watch some shows in English, but I rely on subtitles a lot. Subtitles can be helpful, but try to wean off them gradually. Maybe start with English subtitles before removing them entirely. This way, you can hear the language as it's naturally spoken and improve your listening skills. Those are good ideas. I already watch some shows in English, but I rely on subtitles a lot. Subtitles can be helpful, but try to wean off them gradually. Maybe start with English subtitles before removing them entirely. This way, you can hear the language as it's naturally spoken and improve your listening skills. Those are good ideas. I already watch some shows in English, but I rely on subtitles a lot. Subtitles can be helpful, but try to wean off them gradually. Maybe start with English subtitles before removing them entirely. This way, you can hear the language as it's naturally spoken and improve your listening skills. Those are good ideas. 
I already watch some shows in English, but I rely on subtitles a lot. Subtitles can be helpful, but try to wean off them gradually. Maybe start with English subtitles before removing them entirely. This way, you can hear the language as it's naturally spoken and improve your listening skills. Those are good ideas. I already watch some shows in English, but I rely on subtitles a lot. Subtitles can be helpful, but try to wean off them gradually. Maybe start with English subtitles before removing them entirely. This way, you can hear the language as it's naturally spoken and improve your listening skills. Those are good ideas. I already watch some shows in English, but I rely on subtitles a lot. Subtitles can be helpful, but try to wean off them gradually. Maybe start with English subtitles before removing them entirely. This way, you can hear the language as it's naturally spoken and improve your listening skills. Those are good ideas. I already watch some shows in English, but I rely on subtitles a lot. Subtitles can be helpful, but try to wean off them gradually. Maybe start with English subtitles before removing them entirely. This way, you can hear the language as it's naturally spoken and improve your listening skills. Those are good ideas. I already watch some shows in English, but I rely on subtitles a lot. Subtitles can be helpful, but try to wean off them gradually. Maybe start with English subtitles before removing them entirely. This way, you can hear the language as it's naturally spoken and improve your listening skills. Those are good ideas. I already watch some shows in English, but I rely on subtitles a lot. Subtitles can be helpful, but try to wean off them gradually. Maybe start with English subtitles before removing them entirely. This way, you can hear the language as it's naturally spoken and improve your listening skills. Those are good ideas. I already watch some shows in English, but I rely on subtitles a lot. Subtitles can be helpful, but try to wean off them gradually. Maybe start with English subtitles before removing them entirely. This way, you can hear the language as it's naturally spoken and improve your listening skills. I see. What about speaking? I don't have many opportunities to practice speaking English. You could join an English speaking club or find a language exchange partner. Nowadays, there are also many apps where you can talk to native speakers. Even practicing speaking aloud by yourself or mimicking dialogue from shows can be beneficial.
I see. What about speaking? I don't have many opportunities to practice speaking English. You could join an English speaking club or find a language exchange partner. Nowadays, there are also many apps where you can talk to native speakers. Even practicing speaking aloud by yourself or mimicking dialogue from shows can be beneficial. I see. What about speaking? I don't have many opportunities to practice speaking English. You could join an English speaking club or find a language exchange partner. Nowadays, there are also many apps where you can talk to native speakers. Even practicing speaking aloud by yourself or mimicking dialogue from shows can be beneficial. I see. What about speaking? I don't have many opportunities to practice speaking English. You could join an English speaking club or find a language exchange partner. Nowadays, there are also many apps where you can talk to native speakers. Even practicing speaking aloud by yourself or mimicking dialogue from shows can be beneficial. I see. What about speaking? I don't have many opportunities to practice speaking English. You could join an English speaking club or find a language exchange partner. Nowadays, there are also many apps where you can talk to native speakers. Even practicing speaking aloud by yourself or mimicking dialogue from shows can be beneficial. I see. What about speaking? I don't have many opportunities to practice speaking English. You could join an English speaking club or find a language exchange partner. Nowadays, there are also many apps where you can talk to native speakers. Even practicing speaking aloud by yourself or mimicking dialogue from shows can be beneficial. I see. What about speaking? I don't have many opportunities to practice speaking English. You could join an English speaking club or find a language exchange partner. Nowadays, there are also many apps where you can talk to native speakers. Even practicing speaking aloud by yourself or mimicking dialogue from shows can be beneficial. I see. What about speaking? I don't have many opportunities to practice speaking English. You could join an English speaking club or find a language exchange partner. Nowadays, there are also many apps where you can talk to native speakers. Even practicing speaking aloud by yourself or mimicking dialogue from shows can be beneficial. I see. What about speaking? I don't have many opportunities to practice speaking English. You could join an English speaking club or find a language exchange partner. Nowadays, there are also many apps where you can talk to native speakers. Even practicing speaking aloud by yourself or mimicking dialogue from shows can be beneficial.
I see. What about speaking? I don't have many opportunities to practice speaking English. You could join an English speaking club or find a language exchange partner. Nowadays, there are also many apps where you can talk to native speakers. Even practicing speaking aloud by yourself or mimicking dialogue from shows can be beneficial. Language exchange sounds like a great idea. What about reading and writing? For reading, start with materials that interest you. It could be anything from novels to articles on the web. As for writing, keep a journal in English or write summaries of the English content you consume. Language exchange sounds like a great idea. What about reading and writing? For reading, start with materials that interest you. It could be anything from novels to articles on the web. As for writing, keep a journal in English or write summaries of the English content you consume. Language exchange sounds like a great idea. What about reading and writing? For reading, start with materials that interest you. It could be anything from novels to articles on the web. As for writing, keep a journal in English or write summaries of the English content you consume. Language exchange sounds like a great idea. What about reading and writing? For reading, start with materials that interest you. It could be anything from novels to articles on the web. As for writing, keep a journal in English or write summaries of the English content you consume. Language exchange sounds like a great idea. What about reading and writing? For reading, start with materials that interest you. It could be anything from novels to articles on the web. As for writing, keep a journal in English or write summaries of the English content you consume. Language exchange sounds like a great idea. What about reading and writing? For reading, start with materials that interest you. It could be anything from novels to articles on the web. As for writing, keep a journal in English or write summaries of the English content you consume. Language exchange sounds like a great idea. What about reading and writing? For reading, start with materials that interest you. It could be anything from novels to articles on the web. As for writing, keep a journal in English or write summaries of the English content you consume. Language exchange sounds like a great idea. What about reading and writing? For reading, start with materials that interest you. It could be anything from novels to articles on the web. As for writing, keep a journal in English or write summaries of the English content you consume. Language exchange sounds like a great idea. 
What about reading and writing? For reading, start with materials that interest you. It could be anything from novels to articles on the web. As for writing, keep a journal in English or write summaries of the English content you consume. Language exchange sounds like a great idea. What about reading and writing? For reading, start with materials that interest you. It could be anything from novels to articles on the web. As for writing, keep a journal in English or write summaries of the English content you consume. Journaling in English, huh? I've never thought of that. It might help me to start thinking in English more. Definitely. The goal is to make English a part of your thought process. Eventually, you want to reach a point where you're not translating from your native language into English, but instead thinking and understanding directly in English. Journaling in English, huh? I've never thought of that. It might help me to start thinking in English more. Definitely. The goal is to make English a part of your thought process. Eventually, you want to reach a point where you're not translating from your native language into English, but instead thinking and understanding directly in English. Journaling in English, huh? I've never thought of that. It might help me to start thinking in English more. Definitely. The goal is to make English a part of your thought process. Eventually, you want to reach a point where you're not translating from your native language into English, but instead thinking and understanding directly in English. Journaling in English, huh? I've never thought of that. It might help me to start thinking in English more. Definitely. The goal is to make English a part of your thought process. Eventually, you want to reach a point where you're not translating from your native language into English, but instead thinking and understanding directly in English. Journaling in English, huh? I've never thought of that. It might help me to start thinking in English more. Definitely. The goal is to make English a part of your thought process. Eventually, you want to reach a point where you're not translating from your native language into English, but instead thinking and understanding directly in English. Journaling in English, huh? I've never thought of that. It might help me to start thinking in English more. Definitely. The goal is to make English a part of your thought process. Eventually, you want to reach a point where you're not translating from your native language into English, but instead thinking and understanding directly in English. Journaling in English, huh? 
I've never thought of that. It might help me to start thinking in English more. Definitely. The goal is to make English a part of your thought process. Eventually, you want to reach a point where you're not translating from your native language into English, but instead thinking and understanding directly in English. Journaling in English, huh? I've never thought of that. It might help me to start thinking in English more. Definitely. The goal is to make English a part of your thought process. Eventually, you want to reach a point where you're not translating from your native language into English, but instead thinking and understanding directly in English. Journaling in English, huh? I've never thought of that. It might help me to start thinking in English more. Definitely. The goal is to make English a part of your thought process. Eventually, you want to reach a point where you're not translating from your native language into English, but instead thinking and understanding directly in English. Journaling in English, huh? I've never thought of that. It might help me to start thinking in English more. Definitely. The goal is to make English a part of your thought process. Eventually, you want to reach a point where you're not translating from your native language into English, but instead thinking and understanding directly in English. That's a good goal to have. I'll definitely start implementing these strategies. Thanks for the advice, Jordan. My pleasure, Alex. Remember, consistency is key. Even small, regular periods of contact can lead to big improvements over time. Keep at it, and you'll see the difference. That's a good goal to have. I'll definitely start implementing these strategies. Thanks for the advice, Jordan. My pleasure, Alex. Remember, consistency is key. Even small, regular periods of contact can lead to big improvements over time. Keep at it, and you'll see the difference. That's a good goal to have. I'll definitely start implementing these strategies. Thanks for the advice, Jordan. My pleasure, Alex. Remember, consistency is key. Even small, regular periods of contact can lead to big improvements over time. Keep at it, and you'll see the difference. That's a good goal to have. I'll definitely start implementing these strategies. Thanks for the advice, Jordan. My pleasure, Alex. Remember, consistency is key. Even small, regular periods of contact can lead to big improvements over time. Keep at it, and you'll see the difference.
that's a good goal to have. I'll definitely start implementing these strategies. Thanks for the advice, Jordan. My pleasure, Alex. Remember, consistency is key. Even small, regular periods of contact can lead to big improvements over time. Keep at it, and you'll see the difference. That's a good goal to have. I'll definitely start implementing these strategies. Thanks for the advice, Jordan. My pleasure, Alex. Remember, consistency is key. Even small, regular periods of contact can lead to big improvements over time. Keep at it, and you'll see the difference. That's a good goal to have. I'll definitely start implementing these strategies. Thanks for the advice, Jordan. My pleasure, Alex. Remember, consistency is key. Even small, regular periods of contact can lead to big improvements over time. Keep at it, and you'll see the difference. That's a good goal to have. I'll definitely start implementing these strategies. Thanks for the advice, Jordan. My pleasure, Alex. Remember, consistency is key. Even small, regular periods of contact can lead to big improvements over time. Keep at it, and you'll see the difference. That's a good goal to have. I'll definitely start implementing these strategies. Thanks for the advice, Jordan. My pleasure, Alex. Remember, consistency is key. Even small, regular periods of contact can lead to big improvements over time. Keep at it, and you'll see the difference. That's a good goal to have. I'll definitely start implementing these strategies. Thanks for the advice, Jordan. My pleasure, Alex. Remember, consistency is key. Even small, regular periods of contact can lead to big improvements over time. Keep at it, and you'll see the difference. の練習はこれで終わりです。お疲れ様でした。もしよかったらチャンネル登録をお願いします。それじゃ、またね。